Hey guys and girls, this is V and you're watching Movie Center. So this is a crime drama mystery movie called Wild Things. In the opening scene, we see this hot high school guided counselor named Sam. He is giving a speech to his students about date rape and sexual harassment. Detective Ray and Detective Gloria are also invited to guide the students. Now, Sam is very popular among the students, especially the girls. Kelly, one of the students and daughter of a wealthy family, also has a crush on him. She convinces him somehow to give her a lift home. Other way, Sam also offers a lift to Susie, a poor outcast. However, Susie refuses as she doesn't get along with Kelly. One day, Kelly and her friend unexpectedly arrive at Sam's house and offer to wash his Jeep. Once they are done, Kelly signals her friend to leave so that she can be alone with Sam. On top of that, she has soaked herself in water, hoping to impress him. Later, she runs out of Sam's house, crying. At home, Kelly reveals to her mother that she was raped by Sam. Now, Kelly's mother is, of course, furious by this and immediately goes to the detectives to file a case against Sam. Kelly then expresses the horror she went through and describes how Sam raped her. Detective Gloria theorizes that Kelly is making things up as there is really no evidence to prove that she was raped except for her statement. But Detective Ray thinks otherwise as he knows that Sam is a womanizer. One day, one of the teachers approaches Sam and informs him that the board is planning to suspend him until he is cleared of the rape charges. But since Sam is denying ever raping Kelly, he decides to hire a lawyer named Ken. Because of those accusations, Sam is now basically hated by everyone. One day, Susie calls Detective Ray and Gloria and tells them that a year ago, she too was raped by Sam. Because of this, Sam is soon arrested by the detectives. On the day of the trial, Kelly reveals how Sam kept forcing her despite her saying no. Susie also repeats her confession and accuses Sam of raping her. But Kenneth defends Sam by saying that if Sam raped Susie, then why did she keep contacting him for bailing her out of jail for several crimes? But when Sam failed to bail her out of jail on a minor drug charge, she decided to ruin his career. After some pressure from Kenneth, Susie finally reveals that Sam never raped her or Kelly. They just wanted some revenge on him. Susie for not bailing her out and Kelly for his affair with her mother. Soon after this, Sam is freed from the rape charges. Now that Sam has filed a defamation case against Kelly, Kelly's mother agrees on a settlement price of $8.5 million. Soon after getting the money, Sam decides to move out and goes to a motel to spend the night. There, he sees Kelly and Susie waiting for him. Turns out that the three of them were actually accomplices who used the trial to get money from Kelly's mother. Meanwhile, Detective Ray finds this case very sus and suspects that this was pre-planned by the three because Kelly can't get the money until her mother dies and Sam and Susie needed money for all their debts. So they decided to scam Kelly's mother and get the money. So Detective Ray approaches Kelly and tries to intimidate her by saying that the three of them won't be getting a happy ending as sooner or later one of them is going to have a problem. But Kelly ignores him and leaves. Detective Ray then goes to meet Susie and tells her that she's being used by Sam and Kelly. He also reveals that Sam has moved all of the money to a foreign account and has also taken a sailboat and lease. Detective Ray's plan works and Susie panics. When Sam doesn't respond to her calls, she goes to meet Kelly. Detective Ray follows her and listens to their conversation from some distance. Sam calls Kelly and tells her to calm Susie down as she can get them all arrested. But Susie is not convinced that she's going to be left out of the settlement money. She argues with Kelly, but the argument turns violent and Kelly tries to drown Susie. However, Kelly changes her mind and instead kisses Susie. Unbeknownst to them, Detective Ray is recording them with great interest. The next day, Detective Ray shows the video recording to his boss and demands immediate action. But instead of allowing him to continue his investigation, he orders Detective Ray to stay away from Sam, Kelly, and Susie. One night, Kelly and Susie drive to the beach. Later, Sam also comes there and tells Kelly to get a blanket from her mother's car. While she is away, Sam apparently kills Susie. Oh no. After wrapping Susie's body in plastic, Sam and Kelly then drive to the swamp to dispose of her body. The next day, Detectives Ray and Gloria learn about Susie's disappearance and begin a search to find her. Detective Ray is now convinced that something is wrong, so he goes to the beach to find any clue about Susie's disappearance. There, he finds bloodstains on a boat along with some teeth. So, Detective Ray wants to investigate further, but their boss stops him and orders him to drop the case. But since Detective Ray wants to find out the truth, he asks Detective Gloria to keep an eye on Sam. Later that night, Kelly calls Sam and tells him that she is scared and doesn't want to get arrested. Sam assures her that nothing will happen to her and directs her to stay at home until they leave for good. Sam then spots Detective Gloria spying on him and goes to talk to her. She tells Sam about Susie's disappearance and that Detective Ray believes he has something to do with it. So Sam invites Detective Gloria to his room and shows her Kelly's school files, according to which Kelly is an unstable, sexually confused girl. Sam tells her that Kelly was having an affair with Susie, but when things didn't work out for them, they may have turned against each other. Detective Ray doesn't believe this and goes to Kelly's house to talk to Kelly, who is scared and upset. As soon as he enters her room, Kelly attacks him. 
Three gunshots are then heard, after which Ray leaves the room and collapses. Later, Detective Ray tells the officer that Kelly first fired at him, so he had to return fire and kill Kelly in self-defense. Although no charges are filed against him, he is, however, dismissed from the force for disobeying orders. After a few days, Sam goes to an island. He returns to his home and sees Ray showering inside. It turns out that he and Sam were actually working together from the very beginning. Plot twist. Oh yeah. So anyway, Sam is displeased that Ray killed Kelly as he should have just framed her for Susie's death. But Ray says that they have fewer loose ends now and they don't need to share the money with anyone else. Sam informs Ray that the money is going to be transferred into working days, so he invites Ray to go sailing with him. Next day, when Ray is distracted, Sam steers the boat, causing Ray to fall into the ocean. But he somehow manages to get back on the boat and attacks Sam, but gets shot to death by a very much alive Susie. Plot twist. Meanwhile, Detective Gloria goes to meet Susie's grandma and asks her what she knows about Ray. Susie's grandma reveals that Ray had an affair with a girl at the Clades. One night, Ray killed a boy named Davey because he had a crush on Ray's girlfriend. As Susie saw the incident, Ray got her arrested to silence her. Meanwhile, Susie gives Sam a drink to celebrate Ray's death. Although Sam hesitates at first, he eventually drinks it. But it turns out that Susie has poisoned Sam's drink and knocks him overboard so that his body will not be found. Meanwhile, Susie's grandma tells Detective Gloria about Kelly's grandfather, who once got a woman pregnant. Soon after giving birth to a baby girl, the woman died within a year. Susie's grandma adopted the baby girl, who is none other than Susie. It means that Susie and Kelly's mother are actually half-sisters, and that Susie is the aunt of Kelly. Wow. Susie is the ultimate mastermind of the movie, who now has complete control of the money. In the flashback, Kelly and Sam had an affair when Sam was the guidance counselor. One day, Susie went to see Sam at his office and showed him the pictures of him romancing Kelly. She then blackmailed Sam to do her bidding. She was the one who set up the first meeting between Sam and Ray. At the beach, she used a pair of pliers to pull a tooth out of her own jaw. When Ray went to see Kelly, it was he who shut Kelly dead to get rid of loose ends. At the end of the film, Ken goes to meet Susie and hands her a briefcase full of cash, along with a check for millions of dollars. It turns out that he was actually working with Susie from the very beginning. So this was the story of Wild Things. See you in the next hunt.